Cool. So, uh, hey guys, uh, my name is Chris Cologne. I'm a software engineer for uh, Indeed.com. For those of you that aren't familiar with Indeed, we're a job search site, or the number one job search site worldwide. Um, I've been with Indeed for four years. Uh, before that, I actually just went to school at University of Illinois. Uh, any Illini here? Yes, cool, awesome, me and you, and you over there. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been working for Indeed the last four years, and the last year and a half, I've been working on uh, Indeed's newest product called Indeed Prime. Um, and so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that later, but, but right now I just wanna talk about something that we kind of, a lot of us in this room probably experience, which is recruiters and recruiting messages and stuff like that. So uh, just to show of hands, who here has gotten a message from a recruiter like daily, weekly? Yeah, yeah, cool, I see we got some engineers in the room, awesome. Okay, so uh, show of hands, who here has gotten an awful recruiting message from, yeah, okay, cool. See, we got some engineers in the room. Yeah, so this, and this is, I was actually talking with some of my uh, colleagues about some of the messages that they get, and uh, one, one of my colleagues said that she would had a recruiter contact her once or twice a week, but always after 10 p.m. And I asked her, you know, what was happening? Was he in Tokyo or something? Like, was there a time difference? What was going on there? And she said, no, actually, he would leave her voicemail messages because he was drunk and would leave her these drunk recruiting messages. <laughs> That's not the type of recruiter I want to talk to. I'm not really going to be interested in working for that company. Um, I had another coworker uh, who, <laughs> here, depicted here, um, who would get contacted by one recruiter. Uh, he got a couple messages. The first message was something like, hey, Juan, we saw your resume. We think you'd be a great fit for the company. Let us know. Uh, reach back to us. And my colleague didn't respond back to that first message. Recruiter sent another message a couple days later. Hey, Juan, we really looked at your resume. Think you'd be a great fit for the company. Just talk to us five, ten minutes. Still didn't respond. Third message from the recruiter. Hey, Juan, don't mean to bother you. If we could just get five or ten minutes of your time, that'd be great. Thanks. And so those messages don't sound that bad. If it was an interesting company, probably maybe Juan would respond. The only problem was Juan wasn't Juan. Juan is actually Amanda. And so they got the name wrong and they got the gender wrong. Not really a recruiter you want to kind of message back, right? They're probably just cold calling a bunch of people. Also, if you looked at the resume that much, how did you get the name? I don't know. Um, and so uh, the other thing that happens with recruiting messages is let's say you get a good recruiting message. You might have low-quality companies reaching out to you, right? Uh, <laughs> Tunder Mifflin, yeah. Um, and so what makes a company low-quality could be several things. They could not be able to afford you, right? So I had companies contact me, give me offers that were half the salary I was currently making, um, I don't care if you're a great company. I don't really want to take that pay cut. Uh, and then you also have companies that are just kind of cold calling, right? So they're, you're just one of the 100 engineers they try to reach out to. Um, so they're not even looking to see if you're a match. I've, you know, I've heard of, a, uh, I have a friend who's a game designer, and he gets contacted by, like, finance and bank companies, and it has nothing to do with his experience. Once again, because they're just cold calling, right? They don't care who you are. You're just an engineer. Uh, the next thing that happens is uh, you get unresponsive companies, and this can happen at different parts of the recruiting process, right? So um, what happens to me is I'll get a message from a recruiter, and it's actually a good one, and I'll respond back, and I'll say, hey, I'm interested. Give me some more information. And I think that's when they go and play like ping pong at their tech office or something because they never respond back to me. Uh, and so I just get that unresponsiveness, which is a huge turnoff, right? Um, you can also get uh, unresponsiveness later on in the process. So a colleague of mine right before he started for Indeed um, got through the whole process. He interviewed, phone screened, everything like that, and was told that he was going to get an offer. A couple days go by, he doesn't hear anything, tries to send him a message, they don't get back to him. A couple weeks go by, he starts looking for another job, right? Uh, he starts interviewing with Indeed. And a month goes by, he's working for Indeed, and he gets contacted again by this company, and they finally say, oh, sorry, by the way, we didn't have the budget to hire you. At which point he's just, he's like, that's fine, I work for another company right now anyways. Um, and so there's this problem, right, with, with recruiting messages right now. And it causes a lot of us engineers to have to sift through all this noise, bad recruiting messages, low quality companies, unresponsive companies. And it makes it really hard when you're actually trying to find a job. I was actually interviewing a really awesome candidate for Indeed. Uh, he had a great resume, and uh, he, I noticed he wasn't working anywhere at the current time. So I asked him, you know, what are you doing right now? And he said, this is what he's doing. 
he's looking for a job. Looking for a job is his full-time job, right? He has so many phone screens and interviews and, and emails to respond to that it's just too much. Um, and so there must be a better way, right? So I work for Indeed, and Indeed helps people get jobs. So a couple of us got to thinking, you know, a lot of us in this room, a lot of the engineers in this room especially, we don't really have to apply to jobs. Like, we don't have to go find jobs. We just have to start paying attention to the recruiting messages and figure out, like, who's good that's talking to us. So let's make this thing, and we'll call it Indeed Prime, and let's have it help top talent get jobs. And it's slightly different. So at the most basic level, Indeed Prime connects top talent uh, with top employers. Uh, so, but when we were building that, when I was trying to figure out what I wanted um, from, from a tool or a product like this, I had to keep in mind a couple things. So the first thing is I wanted an easy apply flow. I, want, I hate writing resumes, I hate writing profiles. I don't know if any of you guys like it, but I definitely do not. So I wanted something where I could just give some basic information and someone somewhere would do work for me. I also wanted uh, a portal with quality employers. I wanted a place uh, where I didn't have to worry about low quality companies reaching out to me or unresponsive companies reaching out to me. I also wanted transparency in messages. So um, I'd get contacts or, or recruiting messages that are really cryptic. Like they're like, we want a junior developer that doesn't have the company name or doesn't have any, any other information or even where they're at. They just kind of want to get like a foot in the door and have you respond back. So I wanted transparency in messages. I want to know who you are and kind of what your offer is. Um, and then I also wanted an easy way to reply to messages. So when I am interested, and I do get it like an email or something, I want an easy way to say I'm interested or I'm not interested. So these are the things I kind of had to keep in mind when, oh, by the way, I didn't really say this, but I'm actually one of the two founding engineers for Indeed Prime. So I was the one trying to like keep all this in mind when I was building this product. Um, so how do we deal with this easy apply flow? Well, what I did was I built super simple, like just give me your basic, your name, your email information, and why don't we just create and have this team of people whose job is to basically create your profile um, and work with you and, and do all of that for you. If anything, use Indeed Prime to get like an awesome like, tech written thing of your profile and then copy and paste that wherever you want. But, um, so we have this awesome team that is going to work, that, that works with uh, engineers and stuff to, to make sure they're getting pushed along the process as well, right? So they're there helping you uh, build your profile, evaluate offers, making sure you're not getting stuck anywhere in the process with any company. There's this awesome quote from a user of Prime that I love. Uh, so he says, I really love the coaching and monitoring from the Prime Liaison. Just knowing someone's in your corner helps a lot. And I think that's something that the that awesome candidate I interviewed for Indeed would have benefited a lot from. Something that I want if I'm considering like looking for a new job. Just someone to help me manage all of this. Someone to help me sift through a lot of that noise. <clears throat> so quality employers, how do you get quality employers? Um, it's actually really simple. Just vet and screen all the employers, right? Be exclusive. And so that's what we do. We, 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 we don't just let any employer uh, see uh, your profile. We vet and screen them. And then we also have a team that works with employers specifically to kind of uh, make sure you're not getting stuck in the process. So let's say you get contacted by a company, you're interested. Uh, we, we go ahead and we, we, we work with the employer saying, hey, look, uh, Rebecca's really interested. She has a couple other offers on the table. You should really push her along. Get that phone screen in. Get that interview in. Uh, and that helps with a lot with the unresponsiveness that we kind of get in normal recruiting. So then transparency in messages, uh, that's also pretty simple, right? So if an employer is going to reach out to you, let's make sure they give their company, which is automatic, and let's make sure they provide a salary, some information. They can provide uh, relocation and equity. Relocation and equity are optional uh, because not every company offers that. But that's great. So now I get messages uh, knowing exactly who I'm talking to, what the company is, and kind of what their base offer is, right? Um, they're using this, they know I'm a prime candidate, they know I'm a great engineer, so they, can, they should be able to make me at least a base offer. <clears throat> the next thing is uh, that one, that easy reply that I want to basically express interest or disinterest when I get messages from, from uh, recruiters or employers, and so that also turns out to be really simple. Let's just, when the emails that you get uh, through Prime, the, we just add a, two buttons that say interested or not interested, Simple as that. I can easily respond and, and say, hey, look, I'm, I'm actually interested. And so all of this together leads up to this 90% response rate. So 90% of the time, our candidates are responding to employers, which is awesome. I, I get so many recruiting messages daily, weekly. I respond to like 2% of them, if, if at all. Right? So 90% is amazing. 
And uh, there's this quote um, that I really want to credit to, which is, uh, at the end of the day, a single Indeed Prime interview request is worth a dozen traditional applications, and I get excited every time I see one in my inbox, which is exactly the product I wanted to build. I didn't want to have to sift through all this noise. I didn't want to have to deal with all this, you know, I have to evaluate if this is a good uh, uh, recruiter or a good company. Um, this, is, this, is, this is the product working, right? Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with what I built. Uh, you guys should totally try it out. Um, we are going to have a booth uh, tomorrow and Friday. Check us out. We're going to have a HTC virtual reality setup, which is super, super cool. I'll be there. I can tell you a little bit more about the Indeed Prime tech stack. Um, we're also going to have another session on Friday, kind of diving in a little bit more of what Indeed Prime is, uh, how it works, and also some resume tips as well. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of us in these like blue and orange shirts. So feel free to uh, reach out to us if, if you all want to sign up or just talk to us for more information. So uh, yeah, thanks. Have a great Rails conference and may the fourth be with you.